This is my family. I'm the breadwinner. This is my lovely wife. My even lovely daughter. That's my old father. Now he's too old to work. He's entirely dependent on me for everything. However, our family is poor. My father-in-law lives with us, and I dislike it. He's such a burden to our family. We are so poor, yet with him around, we have another mouth to feed. It's not easy to support another person in the family. And he's so, so ungrateful. Complain, complain, complain all day long. How to make him understand that he must eat the simple food that we have. And he's so messy too. That's why he eats by himself in the corner and not with us at the table. I'm a burden to my son and his family. My eyes are not good, but still good enough. I can see the way how he and his wife looks at me. They do not want me here. Luckily, I have a granddaughter who takes care of me. I pity, I pity grandfather. It's not easy being alone. His bones ache and he feels the cold. Sometimes when my parents are not looking, I try to give him some of my food. However, if my parents catch me, What for you give the thigh to the old man? I give the best meat to you. Why give him? Is he going to help your father work in the fields? You are young. You must grow tall and strong. Besides, that old man got no teeth. Soup and boiled vegetables are best for him. I have no teeth, but I have a stomach. I'm hungry. Food doesn't grow on trees. Be grateful for what you've got. How can I be grateful for the pain in the stomach? Better a pain in the stomach than pain in the butt. It's too much. He's got to go. The sooner, the better. The further, the better. Yes, we don't want him coming back. Where will you take him? I'll go to the market and buy a local, the largest I can find. Let me get the money. Daddy didn't know I was listening. I knew what a doko was. This smaller version. A large basket made from thick woven bamboo. There's a strap to go around your forehead and you carry it on your back like this. The, doko, the farmers use it when they come to the market. Dokos are meant for vegetables, not grandpas. Hey, what about Nerosis? You know how kuroti she is? Kuroti? What's that? Kepo. Oh, Kepo. She is. I will do it tonight. After dark, she won't know. But what if she asks? If she doesn't hear grandpa coughing from dusk to dawn, she'll definitely ask. Tell her, uh, tell her grandpa wanted to be taken to some holy place. To spend his last days in peace? Exactly. You better go. The market will open soon. Get a big toko and make sure the strap is strong. I will. As soon as I saw father leave, I went to ask mother. Mother, why are you throwing grandpa away? We're not throwing him away. This is what happens when you listen to things you're not supposed to hear. If you're not throwing him away, then why am I not meant to hear what you're talking about? Because... Because we knew that you'd be sad to hear that grandpa's going. So you're not throwing him away? Of course not. Your father and I worked very hard to send you to school, feed us all, and pay the rent. Everything is so expensive now, right? I could take care of him. You've got better things to do. What's more important than taking care of Grandpa? Go feed the yak. You'd rather I feed the yak than feed Grandpa? That's why I turn him away? We're not throwing him away. Your father is taking him to a place where he'll get more attention. Where? Far away. Where? Why? I want to visit him. You can't. It's far, far away.
boy. Who will look after him there? Don't worry. There will be many kind people to look after him there. But if there aren't any good people to look after him here, then why should there be any good people to look after him there? Because... Don't you have homework to do? No. Yeah, really? Remind me to speak to your teachers. Go feed the yak. Why is it you keep time to feed the yak? Because it's hungry. But grandpa's hungry too, yet you never time to go and feed him. One day, I will tell your father to take the yak to the butcher. Do you want me to tell your father to take your grandpa to the butcher too? No, you just told him to take him away. The token now. It looks rather small. Don't worry, Grandpa can fit in. It will be dark soon. Yeah, wait until the sun went down. <coughs> it's dark now. Come on, Father. It's time to go. What's going on? Get into the doka now. You can't put me in like I'm a sack of vegetables. Don't worry, it's a brand new one. I bought it just for you. I don't care if it's a brand new one or as old as me. Dogos are for vegetables. We can't take care of you. So we have decided to put you to some holy place where the monks can take care of you. You ungrateful son, think of all those years I took care of you. It's for the best, father. Is this how you repay me? What could dad say to that? Mother tried to pull grandpa into the doko. Let me go! Keep your voice down or you wake the neighbors. For someone who says that has nothing in his stomach, you're very strong. Father, please do me a favor. After you throw grandpa away. What? You too? What are you talking? Please take good care of the doko. Bring it back. Bring it back? What for? Because we'll need it again when you and mommy are both old and I have to throw you and you away. Uh, that's my granddaughter. What could my son say to that? Father couldn't take another step forward, so he turned around and brought grandpa home again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. This is very long. And from that day forward, there was no more talk of sending Grandpa away. He returned to sit at the table where he belonged at the heart of the family.